What is happening everybody? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the Philly Flipper Live channel. We are here back ready to pull some orders. It is Sunday night. So it is the weekend episode of the show. First of all, give shout out to Bob Buys for giving me for letting me purchase this shirt right here. Um it's a it's a cool cat. And I'm a cool cat wearing a cool cat shirt. It just makes sense, right? <laughs> so thank you, Bob Byers. I love it uh, quite a bit. So thank you. Uh, thank you for that. Today is also May 1st, so it's the uh, beginning of the month. I had a very eventful weekend. Um, I had a very eventful weekend in every aspect besides listing. I didn't list almost anything from Thursday to today. Today is Sunday. It was today was like the, the first day I listed in the last couple of days. Um, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of family stuff. I have friends came from out of town that I haven't seen in a while. I had my cousin's wedding this weekend. I had also family here that I got to hang out with, and so eBay got put to the side, and that is a okay with me. That is kind of the beauty of owning your business and deciding when you're going to focus on listing and when you're not going to focus on listing. So the last couple days, I didn't do anything as far as listing, as far as ending and relisting, as far as um, cross posting, as far as sending offers, I did nothing. But here's the benefit still of working for yourself is that even though I did zero work the last, uh, the last couple days, I still got sales. <laughs> What other job is going to be like that where you do nothing for you to zero work and it's still going to reward you uh, with sales and it, it's not like my usual weekend of sales where I get about at least try to get 60 sales a weekend. It's a lot slower. I think I have like a 35 or something. Uh, 35 sales for no listings, no cross posting, no sending offers. I am very uh, happy to uh, take that. We're actually going into a week where I'm going to be traveling. I'm leaving Wednesday to go to Virginia to go to the 100 mile yard sale where I'm going to be uh, meeting up with Kevin Commonwealth Flipper and then Tim from over the years. Uh, uh, OBX Picker there is going to be Center Connection. Uh, Shay, uh, MD Picker is going to show up as well. So there's going to be a lot of fun with a lot of people. We're going to go do some picking for like three or four days. Actually, when this video gets released, I might already be back from the trip. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how the days um, line up for that. So um, this week, doesn't look very promising for listings as well. I'm gonna hit the listings pretty heavy Monday and Tuesday. Then I leave Wednesday, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm not gonna be able to list unless I get some drafts done beforehand and do that that way. Then I come back Sunday and we're gonna get into the swing of things as well. And hopefully I have a lot of good product to list. But anyway, enough of that. Let's pack and ship what sold. We'll start with the other platforms first, because believe it or not, I did get sales on other platforms. First on Facebook, I sold some Floor Shine Men's Dancers Black uh, Loafer Shoes. It's these guys right here. By the way, they were cross-posted with Flip. I am um, using Flip now to cross-post. I'm using Flip now to uh, share in my closet as well. And I am a very happy customer using Flip as well. I'm saving probably, I'm saving around $70 a month. I'm not using the other platforms and using Flip. And as you see, I still get results. So if you guys actually wanna try Flip, I actually have a code in this video down below. Click, click on that code. Uh, you'll get you on the wait list to use Flip for free. And you guys can start um, cross posting. You guys can check it out and see if it works for you as well. I'm not gonna force your hand to do it, but you guys can go and try, see if it's something you guys like. Also on Facebook, I sold a Madonna True Blue audio cassette. I have two of them, so let me show you get the right one. See, I have two. I had one that's like this. This one's the one actually that's sold, and I had one with the crack case that I listed for a little less. See, the case is cracked. This one sold on Facebook for six dollars. Right here, it came. It came from uh, the auction house for the two dollar deal that I got on all those cassettes. Also on Facebook, I sold another remote, so the Sony remote. This was uh, in my death pile that was listed a couple weeks ago, cross posted, and also sold on Facebook. Got ten bucks for it. 
Can't complain. Then I'm gonna get 10 bucks for a remote. Back in 2019, when I started watching um, garage sale, yard sale videos, somebody told, I forgot who it was, uh, said remotes are good to flip if you start off. And because you can get them for like 50 cents for a buck, and they sell, they don't sell for much, they sell for usually for $10. It's very easy to find what remote you have. There's, a, there's like a big bound number usually in the front. It's like right here, it says Sony RM SEP 707. You type that in, you find what remote you have. So you can see what it sells for, and it's very easy to pack and ship. So I can see what people say to start off with those, because you can find them pretty frequently. And now people always use remotes. People always need second remotes. So it makes a lot of sense. All right, then on Poshmark, I sold an Ogi Thermal Vacuum Carafe. Carafe. Got, I, got, I got corrected about this on Friday with Ginger Marvin. They were on my live, and I think I pronounced it Carafe. And Chris was like, oh, that's pronounced craft, okay? Because Chris, Chris is very sophisticated, so he knows. But uh, this thing right here, I got it at a church sale for a buck. And I think it sold for 30 on Poshmark. So <laughs> I think what I told them was like, I don't need to know how to pronounce it to know that it's going to make me money. Because <laughs> I had no clue what it was. It's like a huge thermos. But I figured it was definitely worth a buck. It was a, a dollar or two, and it sold. Next, I sold some East Point. Um, billiard balls. I got these in a storage unit a long time ago, a year ago now. They came from the Clown Santa storage unit. You should go to my main channel and you see my first live. Uh, I opened these there. Came from the from my first ever live that I made. These were there from there, and these sold for thirty dollars on Poshmark as well. And I believe that is it. Sorry about that. I, there's just been one buyer now. I sold Coca-Cola forks and spoons to somebody in Tennessee. And this buyer messaged me probably 20 times today now. I, after I'm done recording, I'm going to go block them. It is super annoying. They're like, where's my order? I want a refund. Where's my order? So I was like, I sent that out like two weeks ago. You should have you got it by now. I checked delivery. Is the, it's multiple times the post office tried to reach them at their house and they weren't there available for pickup. So they put it back to the post office. So I messaged them, so I messaged them with the screenshot saying, hey, look, you tried to approach you a couple times. You never got it. Um, you were never there. So it's at the post office. Here's the post office. I even sent them a screenshot of the address of the post office. Go there. It's there. And the guy goes, I don't want a screenshot. I want my item. Give me a refund. And I'm like, I can't give you a refund because the item's there. Even though technically it doesn't say delivered, they try multiple times. I called actually eBay today. I actually called eBay about today to see what would happen if the item got sent back to me. And the guy told me that once it shows a proof of attempted delivery and it wasn't, I'm in the clear. That's what the guy said. Hopefully that's right. And I, then I asked him, like, what do I do about this customer? Because they're constantly sending me messages. And even while I was on the phone with that guy, I got four messages from this from this uh, from this buyer saying, "Where's my where's my where's my stuff? Give me a refund. I'm gonna call eBay. I'm gonna get my money back. This money is mine, not yours." Like, just annoying, just constant annoying messages. Um, very frustrating. And he said, he said, you, he said. Uh, the guy looked at our message and said, he said, you did pretty much what, or you, what we asked him to do. You showed him where it is. You gave him the address. And it's like, there's not much more you can do. <laughs> not much more um, you can do as a seller. So I am getting to the point now where I'm just going to block them and move on with my life. It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for all the sales on other platforms. Let's talk about what's sold on eBay. I sold these two guys, um, not guys, I guess they're called cards. I bought this at a yard sale in Delaware a couple weeks ago. Um, I don't even know why I got them. <laughs> I thought they were unique or something, the cars were. I think I paid $2 though for these uh, cars right here and those, uh, these three guys right here, I don't know what show these guys are from though, but I think it's like a popular kid show. And the car sold on eBay for $12. So the Blu-ray for four bucks. So you guys, killer, killer sale so far, right? <laughs> sold this Rambo Blu-ray, uh, $4. I actually have zero clue where it came from. 
Um, could have been a storage, could be a yard sale, could be an auction house. Zero clue. Came from somewhere. <laughs> it's sold. All right, we got a pretty decent sale here. I sold a Harley Davidson uh, helmet. I just got this last week at a yard sale. Actually, both the helmets I got from the yard sale already sold. It wasn't the best, um, I would say, I guess, ROI on my on my stuff because I think I paid ten dollars for the first helmet. I paid fifteen for this one. I thought I was going to sell for more because the Harley helmet, but um, still. Uh, didn't sell for as much as I thought I was going to sell, sold for uh, 50 bucks. I guess 15 into 50 isn't terrible, I'll take that. And then the other one sold for 40, so I turned 25 into 90 um, before fees and stuff, but um, the stuff sold in a week, so. When the ROI isn't the greatest, it's good to see the stuff move pretty quick, so I would probably do that sale um, again. All right, next I saw the uh, H-Rack, this is the Sessions, Freedom B. This right here, I sold. <laughs> and then we had some killer book sales, guys. Uh, killer in uh, quotation marks. <laughs> when you guys see what I sold, you'll understand why I find it funny. First, I sold one for $3. Treasures Hunters Handbook. I think I listed this during one of my 24-hour live challenges. It was just like something that was in my death pile for a while. I said, you know what? I'm tired of it being in my death pile. I'm going to list it. So here's this book right here. Sold for three whole dollars. Again, I think the reason why I listed it was power was losing my mind <laughs> at my um, 24 hour live listing challenge. So I was like, hey, three bucks. Yay. That sounds great to me. And then I'm going to scroll down and show you guys the other one that sold today. Also for three whole dollars. <laughs> this book is called Container Gardening Throughout the Year. This also was listed during a 24 hour live. So um, another three dollar sale right here, guys. <laughs> if I'm checking the book now and it says for three bucks, that thing is going in, um, that is going to get donated. <laughs> but I can't, so I was probably losing my mind. Uh, when I was at this, uh, I was losing my mind being live for so long that it probably got listed. And hey, they sold, so I guess yay. Yay me. Uh, next, I sold a lot of three vintage maps. I got these in New Jersey. There he is. What's up? Got a haircut. Is that why you were late? Uh, no. Nah. You were busy getting a haircut? What's up? Nice shirt. Thank you. Thank you. What you know about that country? From it. Oh, okay. It's my home. I, I have two things in the back of my truck. Okay. Well, two, um, two big things. Okay. Get it all. I got a question for you too, actually. Um, my battery died, and I wonder uh -huh. if maybe you have a spare for it. There's like a little battery inside. What does it look like? It's like a circle. Then yeah. Okay. Cool. Come out of your paycheck. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> so it's these three right here. They're like old like city maps of Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia. That's uh, so why I make a lot of, of three of them. I uh, these them for 12 bucks. I think I paid $2 for all the maps that they had there. And I made a couple of lots, have some, some individual ones. But I'm already in the profit and I still have all of these right here left to sell. So um, there's definitely money in, in old maps too. If you guys see them like old New York City maps. These are old Jersey maps, Wilmington maps. Um, if you guys see these, there, there's definitely um, some money to be made if you get them for uh, cheap enough. All right, next I sold another part of the Bissell vacuum. I think this is probably the last or before last one that I have. Yeah, I just have a brush left now. So yeah, I sold the hose for $20. All I have is the brush left. I paid five bucks for this in a yard sale and I already sold the canister for 30. I sold the wand for 25. Now I'm selling the hose for 20. So that $5 I already turned to $75 if my math is correct. And I still have 15 bucks in the brush left to sell. So I'm definitely happy with that. Um, when in doubt, part it out for vacuums always works. Then you guys remember when in doubt, part it out. You heard it here first. I sold another Precious Moments 
Guys, this box is to be full, and there's probably like almost 15 or 20 in here. Now I see, guys, there's only three left. Just sold another one. I still remember when I listened to these live on uh, on my on my channel, and Tracy was like, "I rather like cut my eyes out <laughs> than list precious moments," and she does have a point. They were pretty tedious to list. There's not much money in them, but like as everything that I do, it all eventually sells. This right here is sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. Like I said, I would probably recommend you guys don't do what I did, um, but I got. Oh, that whole thing probably for like a buck or two at a yard sale the whole box so i'm making money on it <laughs> it wasn't fun <laughs> but i did make money on it next i sold a plush i got this at a yard sale a couple weeks ago you guys saw this on my main channel if you guys watched that one paid a buck for two of these uh dr seuss plush this one and a big fish and this guy right here sold for ten dollars and i sold another plush I got this in Jersey as well. It didn't make uh, the cut to be featured on my video because this is the only thing I got at the yard sale. I paid, I think, 50 cents for this guy there. Sold for 15 bucks. That was a like, pretty creepy looking old plush. Figured somebody would want him and sold for 15 bucks. So, good thing I got it. Probably went to like 40 or 50 yard sales that day and only got things like at half of them and then a bunch of the other ones only bought like a thing or two so they didn't make the cut to be in the video next i sold a part of the caribbean jack uh jacket parts of the caribbean blanket i think it's down here this guy right here he probably sold because giant depths on it giant depths is in the news right now or like his trials in the news so everyone's talking about giant depths that's probably why it's sold i got 10 bucks for it uh, plus ship and then um I got it from a donation pickup, so I probably have pennies into it. So I'll take pennies for ten dollars. Next, I sold a restoration hardware furniture touch-up kit. This sold for twenty bucks. I think I got this from a storage unit. I don't remember where it came from. It looked pretty unique. This I had to list it. Got twenty dollars for it. Um, it's brand new. There was no listings like these anywhere on eBay. But I did see that they are selling right now at Restoration Hardware for like 30 plus ship. So I figured I had to cut them a little bit. I listed it for 25 and somebody offered me 20. I was like, sold. <laughs> so that thing is gone. Next I sold an Under Armour hat. I got this in Peaches to Beaches. This is one of the hats that I got for uh, $10 on the windy day. This Under Armour one right here. Sold for 10 bucks plus shipping actually just got a facebook sale right now somebody wants to come locally pick it up so let me see let me get it ready so it's sesame street library set of 14. it's gonna be in my new little thing over here somebody next to me was throwing this out so i grabbed it and put all my book sets into here so it's gonna be the sesame street one which is i think this one yeah so somebody's coming for all these books right here. They're paying me $30 locally for them. So they should be coming in the next couple minutes. So hopefully I've finished pulling these orders before they come. So my guy has the earphones and he, he, he can't hear. But he's about to go grab these items right now. He's about to go grab these items, guys, and I bet. Oh, he can hear me now. But I bet he gets the cassette first. And then the remote. And then like a map or something. Let's, let's see what he gets. Let's see. All right. Huh? Okay. Okay. So, all right, what'd you grab first? Let me see. The remote. Oh, cassette, cassette, remote, and map. <laughs> man, how did I know he was doing that? I don't know, man. I, I, I wonder why'd you grab those first, huh? They're pretty easy to do. Sir. They're pretty easy to do. Yeah. This is this guy's motto? Starts off when he has full energy doing the easy things. Yeah. Now he's gonna leave like the helmet for the end when he has no energy for anything. Uh, All right, next I sold a Sears Craftsman Rotary Tool. This I also got at the auction house. Came for a big lot, so I probably had like a buck or two into all of them. All the tools they got there. This right here sold for $35. Next I sold some more shoes. Also some Universal Thread Women's sandals slip-on sandals sold for 15 bucks actually 
pretty good for universal thread. It's a Tar J brand. These guys right here. I think they came from a donation pickup, so that means I have pennies into everything that I got there. So pennies into 15 bucks. I'm happy with that. I, I think they sell for like 23 or 24 in Target new. And my, mine sold for 15 used. This is why I love doing what I do. <laughs> sold uh, another Beanie Baby. <laughs> so it sold for $9. So the Baby Mystic Unicorn. I see my whole pile of Beanie Babies <laughs> that will eventually be sold. <laughs> This one right here, nine bucks. I think I got them from like a storage unit again, so pennies into nine bucks. I am okay doing that. I understand if people that are watching or not. I'm okay doing that right there. Another low uh, plush sale. This is a, this is a Webkins now. <laughs> the Webkins dog for 10 bucks. Uh, this guy came from a bag of plush that I paid $3 for. There was a bag of Webkins plush. I think there was like 12 or 13 of them in there, so um, I don't know the math on that. You guys can tell me the math how much, how much I paid for them. But three bucks for 12, like 12 or, 12 or 15 of them. And they've been all selling. This one right here sold 10 bucks. Some Webkins do actually pretty good, especially if they have their new when they don't have the, the, the tag isn't used. This uh, wasn't one of them. I just saw the remote. This was given to me by Jess, so thank you, Jess. For the free gift, she said she couldn't test it, so she didn't list it. I can't test it, so I did list it, and it sold for twenty-five dollars. So thank you, Jess, for a twenty-five dollar gift. <laughs> you are more than welcome to keep buying things that you can't list and give them to me, <laughs> and I'll list it. Next, I got another weird sale right here. I got this from Jen Cross Gems. Uh, auction this is wasn't a what auction this was like her like ebay youtube auction back back in the day way way back in the day and i got these there and i think it paid like a buck or two for a huge lot of things and this was in there i don't know what this even is remington pocket guide some some old ephemera stuff sold for five bucks and also some comfort you uh slip on tennis shoes these are though i know definitely came from a storage unit it came from a storage unit, I think, a year and a half ago. Uh, I I was like on the verge of listing these because I didn't know if they would be worth it or not. And you guys can be the judge and tell me if they were. Uh, these right here sold for twelve dollars <laughs> after a year and a half. <laughs> would that be worth listing or not? Again, they came from a storage unit, so I don't have so pain to do it. I guess I have to get some box. Box? Of course. Like box? Of course you get some box. It's, it's like, this is a funny sale right here because uh, I use this as an example. This right here, I talked about in one of my latest um, main videos on my main channel. Uh, is there something? They don't need to know though. Okay, well, it's, it's not recording, you're fine. Okay, so. You were right, they, they don't have to know, that's for sure. <sighs> that's what I said. All right, so this actually is an example. So this is gonna be a very long tail item. All right, it may take me a long time to sell this. And <laughs> it sold like the, the next day after I said that. Uh, it sold for $35. So I guess it wasn't that long tail. <laughs> it sold pretty fast. I think I just got out of sale right now. It's got a little cringed. Yeah, I sold a, a camera bag. I'll what? just I just take a picture and send it to you. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you everything, okay? God. Gosh. All right, and then this thing just sold a genuine Nike camera bag. It's on camera bags quite a bit recently. This one right here, that's a Nike Nikon. This guy right here, he just sold for 20 um, bucks on eBay. And then the rest of the things are all clothes. There's a lot of them. All right, so here's all the clothes that sold. It's actually, that's what I thought. For eight pieces, I guess it's not bad. Um, I sold Urban Pipeline jeans, not the best brand of jeans to be looking, <laughs> looking for, sold for 12 bucks. These are actually pretty good, CPO Provisions is the brand, they're like an uh, Urban Outfitters brand, these are like men's like dress pants, they sold for 20 bucks. Rock and Republic jeans sold for 15, Danskin top sold for 10, Great American sweater sold for 12, 
you the piece of the 20. Uh, that's um, a woman top. Philippines is actually a pretty good brand. And then these are the tour tops of the 15. And the <laughs> It's pretty funny. Brady Quinn Cleveland Browns jersey sold for twenty dollars as well. So that is it. That is everything that sold. Now we have to go and pack it all up.